So guys, this video is about the coronavirus, but before that, I hear you're gonna catch it if you don't hit subscribe, like, and comment down below. Always appreciate the support. So guys, in one account, one, I have multiple brokerage accounts, in one, I've lost $41,000, and I'll show you a screenshot to prove that in one second here. Now, this is all attributable to the coronavirus, the, the panic, the pandemic that's going on out there. It's uh, the, the stock market. If you've seen the news in, within the last couple of weeks, it's just mayhem out there, and, it, and it's directly impacting the stock market. For me, this one account, $41,000 evaporated. If you look at my other accounts, I'm, I, I'm well north of $50,000 gonzo. After we take a look at the screenshot here, and I'll show you just so you know I'm not blowing smoke about my $41,000 loss this week, I'm going to provide you with some tips about how you can navigate the coronavirus successfully and come out the other side of this pandemic, this issue on the upside as a winner. So let me show you guys this. This is the one brokerage account I'm gonna show you. This is my account from inception in 2012 to present day. And it's showing you the cumulative, uh, I'll hover over it. You can see returns, purchases, gain, loss, income returns, etc., etc. And essentially the timeline here, uh, where the red line is, the vertical line there, it's uh, August 1, 2012. That's when I opened this account and started um, becoming uh, involved in, in uh, this particular brokerage account. And uh, it, this particular red line, vertical red line, runs through January 31, 2020. So kind of the, the beginning of the year-ish, right? Not, not doing too bad. Ending balance, $474,000. That, that's pretty solid. Matter of fact, I actually um, have been doing pretty well in this account. And so, you know, almost a half a million dollars in this one account alone, not bad. And you fast forward to March 12th, and this is where, <laughs> you know, I don't know if there's onions in here, but I want to cry. $40,947, gonzo. See ya. Ending balance, $409,000. So what the hell do you do now? $41,000 gone in that one account. And I have a couple other accounts. So it's, it's horrifying. You know, it's well north of $50,000 gonzo, maybe closer to 70. I, I haven't counted at all. But this one count, $41,000 gone. Now, I want to provide some advice and recommendations for you as you navigate the coronavirus from a financial perspective and how you can come out the other side of this thing. Because it is going to end. It is going to end uh, when the panic subsides, etc. And how you can come out looking like a winner. Number one. I'm going to steal this line from my grandfather, who was just an amazing guy. He was a World War II veteran. He actually sailed on destroyers in the Pacific and things. Um, just an awesome guy. He was just awesome. And I just remember in my head, I can still see it, walk into his house in the, the later years and he loved his Manhattan. You know, and if you don't know what a Manhattan is, it's basically, you know, straight alcohol and he'd just, he'd just sip it, you know. And he, he'd take his Manhattan. You can see how, how tough I am. I, I'm drinking a red grapefruit, pink grapefruit, fruity drink here from the uh, good old Pola Seltzer. But he'd have his, his Manhattan and he'd be listening to his jazz on the radio. And if anybody kind of got excited or things were going wrong and stuff like that, he'd go. Now the most important thing, he'd take a sip. He'd say, now the most important thing is not to get excited. And that's exactly what I would tell you right here in this, in this absolute panic out there. Don't get excited. Don't act on emotion. Now, I've been in situations where the market has gone to hell and I have needed to pull out some of that, that funding. I've needed to sell stocks and mutual funds and things like that because I was in a, a different type of S storm, right? I get that. But if you can avoid doing that and not panic, and just bide your time, kind of sit there like you're waiting for the bus until the Corona bus drives by you and goes off into the sunset. That's how you're gonna win, okay? So remember, you only lose these dollars. I only lose these $41,000 I just showed you if I sell today. And I have no intention of selling. I, I'm not in a jam, I'm not in a tight spot, I'm doing pretty well. I have no intention of selling, I'm gonna be just fine. What Market's gonna come back, don't know when, but it's, it'll come roaring back at some point. My money will be back there. I'm good to go and I'll probably make more than I have right now. Tip number two, the stock market is on sale and it's at a steep discount. 
if you have funding, now is the time to invest. You could wait a couple of days, see if everything drops off further or something like that. But that's how I look at this. Everything is on sale as far as the stock market goes. And I'll show you in a second exactly what I've done in, in the last couple of days alone. I put my money where my mouth is. I'm not just telling you to pull the trigger on a hundred bucks or a hundred thousand bucks if you have it. I'm going to show you what I've done. Fairly sizable amounts of money uh, that I had kind of sitting to the side in case a situation like this ever came about where I could buy stocks and buy into the market further, buy, buy more at a discount. This strategy, buy, buying the stocks, mutual funds, index funds, whatever it is, bonds, whatever it is at that discount, it's a medium to long term strategy. If you plan on needing that money that you're investing or again, you get into some type of S storm, you're going to be screwed. You don't want to do that because it could take a while for this coronavirus thing to break and, and, and you know the market kind of stabilizes and comes back. So it's really a medium to long term play. But I'm going to show you right now how I've handled the last week or so. And you're going to see that you know I didn't just take out a, a little bit of monopoly money and throw it into the market. I put my money where my mouth is. I'm buying everything on sale right now. And unfortunately, things have dropped a little further than I would have liked. But hey, I bought them at a steeper discount than I would have. All right, guys, so this is where I put my money where my mouth is, okay? I'm going to show you two things that I've done across the last week or so as the market has just gone bonkers here, okay? Friday the 13th, 2020. Order is in progress still. It actually hasn't gone through just yet, but it's, it's in progress. VWANKS, you guys know anything about that? Vanguard Wellington Fund Admiral Shares. If anybody has any questions about what that means, let me know. Dollars slash shares, 826 bucks, okay? I had 826 bucks, kind of burning a hole in my pocket, boom. I'm trying to buy into it. And I believe the uh, Admiral shares right now are something, I think last night they were at like 62 bucks a share or something like that, which is a pretty steep discount. So guys, let's focus on March 9th, 2020. You can see Wellington Fund Admiral shares. This is truly where I put my money where my mouth is. I'm not just telling you to go out and invest and buy things on sale in the stock market. You follow it across 146 shares, $68 a share and 32 cents, 10,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks. So guys, tip number three, final tip. Dividends, dividends, dividends. Reinvesting your dividends. What do I mean by that? The Vanguard Wellington Fund, the Admiral shares I just showed you there in that one example, there's a dividend associated with that mutual fund. And what that means is in a couple short days, probably within the next week, I'm going to receive my Q1 2020 quarterly dividend. That's about 26 ish hundred dollars. Why is that a good thing? Well, stock market's depressed, prices are down, everything's cheaper. Instead of paying, I'm going to say 70 bucks a share for my Wellington shares, maybe I'm paying, I think right now when I checked in between the video here, I think it's like around 60 bucks a share. Steep, steep discount. So instead of that 2,600 bucks getting me this far at say $70, maybe it gets me this far, right? Get more bang for my buck. So if you have an opportunity, have that extra cash and you can invest, now would be the time to do it. Not necessarily in Wellington Fund. I'm not like a salesperson for them, but you know, some dividend generating stock or mutual fund or index fund, something like that. Just something that generates a dividend. Number one, you'll buy it cheaper. Number two, you reinvest your dividends and you're going to reinvest those dividends at a lower price. Appreciate you watching. Couple financial tips to get you through the old coronavirus. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. And after realizing I've lost at least $41,000 and closer to probably 50 or 60,000 when I end up counting it all and crying tonight, I'm going to need a Corona. So stay safe. Catch you on the next one, guys.